Hey guys, glad to have you on my channel today. My name is Eto Reja and this channel is all about how to make an e-commerce online store. In this video, I want to show you a simple step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can make an e-commerce online bookstore. I mean bookstore. At the end of this video, you'll have a fully working e-commerce bookstore in which you can sell a product like ebook, PDF or any kind of downloadable files. I will also show you how to connect your online store to a mobile app so that you can manage your orders, customers, your products in your fingertips. If you stick around to the end of this video, you also learn how to integrate your online store with Payment Gateway at PayPal so that you can receive transactions, you can receive the money. I made this video in such a way that even the total beginners in the WordPress or e-commerce development space can easily follow along. Now let me share my screen with you about the e-commerce bookshop that you and I will be creating together. Alright, welcome back to the full course on how to make a bookstore in WordPress using WooCommerce plugin. Now, let me show you exactly what we're building in this course. This is a bookshop that we want to view. And uh, if I'm to go back to the home page of this bookshop, we have a very clean, sleek uh, home page right here. So basically, this is just like we have like a future pro, um, product, a future book you know, that we want to promote on the landing page. And we have a buy now button. And if someone click on it, take them to where they can shop the book, okay? Or they can read a sample of the book, just, just like a call to action in the landing page. Now, if you scroll down, we have about, you know, about the person that write the book, or this could be about your company, you know? So we have a, a, a read more um, button that can take them to a section that they can learn more about the author. Okay. Then we have a, a word like th this can be a, you can display some maybe some awards, some company that they're featuring your books, some top artists. You understand? Then we have most selling books. So this is going to pull automatically from our bookshop bookstore okay the most book that people have already bought okay so we have a, a shop all button if they click on it you take them to the main bookstore then there's the, a section here that you can filter a video like you have a tutorial video or kind of a sneak peek of what the book is all about just drop a link down here and if they click on this if you play a video then or if you have more video you can feature over here so we have an audio version of the book if you want to provide like a podcast of what the book is all about and the clean, slick photo section. Okay, so the photo section, I've linked to social media, um, link it to my social media account and do so as well. So uh, that's basically how the homepage is designed. And uh, if you go over to the bookshop, the bookstore, okay, the, in the book, um, the bookshop, this is where we have all our books listed, ready, for, um, re ready for sale. Okay, so user can easily like come over to the bookshop and they can they can sort the book by um, the latest book. You know, they can sort by the price, like from high to low or from low to high. That's for the price. Like if I click on that, you can see I have a book that I sold at the rate of one dollar over here. So that's why that one is in is in front first. Okay, so they also have an option to change how this uh, how they see the design of this page. You know, if they click over here, it's going to give them this um, another version of the design. Okay, so oh, I'm going to leave it over here like this. Now. Now, if they click on this book, it's going to take them to the main page of the book. Now, we are going to have a description of the book, a short description of the book. Here's the book title, the price of the book, and the uh, option for them to like, they can increase the quantity to like, can buy um, like five copy at once, click add to cart, you know, then process and make a payment. So, they have uh they have this option over here and uh, we have this 
this one is gonna boost sales you know so guarantee self checkout and this display like ah uh, um the payment gets with our support okay so we also have a quick checkout um a quick paypal button here they click this very button it's going to skip the process of uh, going to cart going to um checkout it's just going to take them to paypal and they make a transaction after the payment is successful paypal will send back all the billing details that they have collected they will send all the details back to your wordpress they will automatically create a account for them okay so that's the advantage of that then you see this description you can click here and you can expand it and the review section as well users can drop a review they can rate it drop a review and click submit okay and we also have related books that they can like as well and if you take a look at this as I'm scrolling down to the top of this book page, if you notice something has disappeared in the bottom, if I scroll down a little bit, there's one sleek pop-up, like a sticky version of AutoCAD on this. Okay, so now even if someone is scrolling down the page, this AutoCAD is still sticky. This is going to improve the cell. So users can easily, no matter the section that they are on the page, they can just add the book to the cart okay see that's it and as you can see automatically it's pull up this shopping cart now let me close this if i go over to the top and click on this card button we have a product being added to the cart okay so right now users can easily view the cards click view cards to take them to the cart and you see this nice design this is this is just like a step step by step guide to let the users know that oh you're almost there just keep on keep going keep going all right so we have um number one here like a step one okay you have a product to the card so the next thing take note they can also increase the quantity of the product and it will automatically load okay now let me let me make it just one quantity all right they can as well do a quick payment via paypal but right now let me process the checkout so that you can see how our checkout is being designed as you can notice our checkout page it has removed all the like all the menus that automatically disappear the reason for this is it's going to eliminate some of the distraction where you're making payment you know all all we want is we want them to make a transaction we want them to pay for the book so that's why this checkout page automatically hide the menu option you know, just have just just the local by the way if they click on the local to take them back to the home page okay it's not as if you are getting people to lost but just just for the sake of making things look more simple and clean so we remove all this automatically once they click on the checkout so right now we have a two-step checkout because most most of the time if you have a checkout page that's blooding with a lot of um, unnecessary um, information people might just get tired of it and bounce back and your bounce rate your churn rate is going to increase so for us to eliminate that and boost the sales okay and the conversion as well we make it a simple two-step checkout and the first thing the first information that we need is the billing information it is very important we can't get rid of this because our payment gets with that we use is PayPal this is important according to PayPal policy. So right now we have a billing section. The first thing that we need is, we need to collect the person's first name and the last name and the country that the person is paying from and the uh, address. Okay, PayPal need this. I should have taken this all, but PayPal need this. So the town, state, and zip code. Okay, so right now, let's say I've, I've filled over these details and click process to payment. We see we we'll, without even reloading the page it's, it's now shift them to the payment section now the payment section have an overview of a product icon and total price now they can as well pay with paypal funds or debit or credit card right now if i click on paypal button it's going to bring it's going to bring a pop-up um page in which i will have to log in my paypal account and make a transaction okay so okay so right now if i'm to go back to the home page again 
and go back to my accounts so we click on this my account see we have a very nice dashboard for users now if they click on this order users can now see the book that they already ordered. now i already paid for this before so you know so <clears throat> You can they cannot see the book that they already ordered if they click on view to now take them to a section that they can download the product that they order okay so right now just like a sample you know so right now they have successfully done book it's not going to be um if you notice that's that's like a, um, a jpex file so it is going to be you uh, let's say you have uploaded the um a pdf version of the book specifically you can upload any file that you want so the process of this if users make a payment they have access to download the file you call it the book call it a book anyhow you want to call it now right now so if they go back to download as well they can see the file they can download the file as well so we if you, if you take a look at this we have done um download remaining it's new that means it's no sorry it's no that means it doesn't have a limit but you can as well set let's say you want people to download this book just one two three times okay but for the sake of this video i keep this in unlimited and expiring there you can give it the like a, maybe you want to offer like a monthly subscription so when it gets to a certain amount of days like 80 days 60 days users need to repair they need to make a payment again before they get access to download the book but for this video i'm giving this as never it's not going to expire it's a lifetime access right so users also get access to update their address okay they can edit their address okay account details are so they can update their account change their password payment method you know i haven't saved any payment method yet on the site okay so that's basically the overview and do not for forget we have about sorry a contact page in which um if people want to contact us they can easily come to the contact page and fill the details of their okay drop the details and click send message so what that means is it's going to automatically forward this as an email to our admin accounts we're going to send this as an email to our admin account so we can respond to the customer if we have an issue all right so we now have another section in which we can just paste um, our email as well over here and we also link our social media account in the button below so guys it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be deep okay so but i've tried my best to make the video a much more beginners friendly so so that everybody can follow along okay so trust me you're going to enjoy the video and do not forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification because video like this coming up soon okay so right now we're done with the product introduction now the next thing is requirements and tools that we need to build this beautiful bookshop what are the things that we need in order for us to achieve this kind of bookshop okay now the thing that we need is well, we need the web hosting uh, for people that are a total beginner in this space, web hosting is just like a piece of computer in which information is being stored. Like a server. Let me use the word server. I think that one is much more popular. Server. Uh -huh. So what that means is we have a uh, make a payment of uh, uh, for, for a server. That's a hosting. They give us, they grant us a storage. We have a login details. When you, when you log in, you have access to in which you can upload the file install some software and your shop is live okay so apart from that another thing that we're going to need is we're going to need um we're going to need a domain name like a link that will send people to our store a domain name is just like a shop address just like when you have a physical store let's say your shop is number 34 this is so street okay so someone know the address they follow the address and they get to your storefront okay it's the same thing that applies to the online space you also need to buy an address online but the good thing about it is this video we're going to get the address for free you know if you're buying the, the hosting that i'm going to recommend okay the next section of the video i'm going to buy the hosting and get the free domain um live so that you can see how that has been done 
okay so that's the whole thing that we are going to need the hosting which serve like a server like like a space like a store space like a local store that will store our product which is our book that will store our book then the next thing that we will need is an address that will lead people to that store the same thing that we rent a storefront then we'll put our book inside they will know we specify a road address that will lead to the store so that's the two things that we're going to need so if you want to take very good advantage of this course make sure you pay good attention do not skip the video if it's something that in fact you don't have to skip the video if you are a beginner in this space make sure you watch the video step by step if you are tired of the video maybe you can just post that take a rest and grab let's say you grab a coffee or something that will keep your brain warm come back and continue the video if you don't like coffee maybe you could do a smoothie okay <laughs> all right so but if you are already have a good experience in this space do not forget i have a section somewhere in the, in the screen in which you can easily navigate from one section to another so that let me i don't want i don't like wasting people time because i don't like people to waste my time okay so there's a place that you can navigate from another section and go over to the section that it is interesting for you uh, it's a way win okay so all right so um without taking much of our time let me go back to our course guideline okay welcome back to the course guideline now i've explained the requirement that's the tools that we'll need to get this bookstore um perfectly set up professionally then there uh, i've actually explained what domain is all about and web hosting so right now i'm going to recommend one hosting that i've been using for quite long you know this hosting is uh, is a hosting that i've been using for like almost how many websites i think i've also about 50 websites with them and i'm so so happy with the service that they provide so far okay it's dream host you will go over to the video description somewhere and click and it's going to send you to this page that we have a uh, share web hosting now if you scroll down a little bit or you just click on this view plans it will take you to where you can um, make a payment for your web hosting now do the starter plan and the unlimited plan give you something similar but the only difference between the share starter and the share unlimited is this one you can host multiple websites on it okay another thing is this very startup plan you will need to pay additional 1.67 cent a month for you to be able to add emails that's custom emails on it okay but this very unlimited plan you can add unlimited email for free so that's basically the difference but if you take a look at this we have the same price 2.95 cent a month and 2.95 cent a month for the share and the share unlimited okay share starter and share unlimited if you follow the link on the description you will notice that it says 95 90 sorry 79 percent okay so what that means is there's a very huge discount in that very link you know it's my regular link though i'm going to have a little bit commission okay when you buy from the link you know this is 79 percent discount and this 63 percent discount if you hover here is the promotion price you follow that my link okay so right now the real price of this like this is this this if you're going for the share startup plan is going to renew at the rate of 6.99 cents a month if you go for unlimited plan, it's going to renew at the rate of 12.99 cents. So that's basically the difference. I just want to be um I just want to be honest about the pricing. Okay. So right now, if this is going to be too much for you to renew, you can as well do this, but it's gonna affect you for it's gonna charge you more if you're adding emails. So right now, another advantage is even if you have a a website hosted somewhere you can as well do a migration to dream host without having a single downtime there's a free automated migration plugin tool that is i think i will do a video i will do another video on that okay 
all right and there's also a pre-install wordpress in short let me just go over and uh, make the transaction so that you can see it by yourself what we have do not forget we have a free certificate ssl and free domain we're not paying so basically all this is part of the value that dreamhost has added okay so right now for this video i'm going to i'm going to go over and uh, um make sure make sure i'm not choosing three years I'm, I'm i'm paying for one year so i'll pick i'll put it on the one year and click sign up now it's going to take me to a section in which i can choose the domain later and set it up but i recommend you to register a brand new domain at once you can register a new domain but if you already have a domain somewhere you can as well link that domain just put that domain over here and assign to it after making the payment there's a way that you can just connect or move that transfer that domain to your dream post account easy okay so right now sorry let me go back right now i'm going to register a new domain so to do that i have an option to type in the domain right here remember like i explained before domain name is just like just like a store from just like address that's leading to your store front like your physical store so right now i'll say uh i'm going to let's say if i'm to say if i'm to search for etoreja.com click search it will show unavailable they say etoreja.com is already taken but these domains are available okay so they are, they will they do not recommend some other domain for me that i can buy as well if the one that i'm trying to buy is not available okay why this is or why this is not available is i've already bought this domain it's my personal name you understand etoreja.com if you go over to uh, your browser and search for etoreja.com to open my personal website yeah, it's open my personal website for now there, but there's something huge coming up but for now i'm just using it for like a blog um a woocommerce e-commerce development blog okay so that's why the domain is not available i didn't mean i didn't buy it's supposed to be available so right now let me say uh, i'm doing a toroja a toroja shop for example dot com and click search uh it said congrats a terrorjarshop.com is available now if i click over here you see it's zero dollars so well, they are not charging me an extra fee on this it is added to my card okay so make sure in this very um when you're picking up the plan depending on your budget though if you want to pay for three years you can go ahead and do this but i mean i'm paying for one year okay so that's just 35 bucks very cheap so if i'm adding this for example you see right now i have uh, my domain over here and uh, take this off my domain over here which is free and also i have a domain privacy which is also free what that means is we click on these details this is some some hosting company they charge additional money like opposite like 11 to 12 dollars you know to hide your identity what that means is when you buy a domain online all your details in this checkout all the details that you're going to fill here apart from your credit card that one is encrypted like your, your your billing details your name your um billing and your billing details your name your country your email will be visible for web that's how web is designed you can hide it okay so it will be feasible in with some people scammers spammers they can go over and search on it and uh, start to bump you with a lot of unnecessary emails okay try to market to you you know selling some you understand so for you to stay safe in the online space it's always recommend for you to hide your identity when you're buying a new domain name okay so in dreamhost domain privacy is free nobody's going to see your details everything is free is hidden so domain privacy free domain name free uh ssl certificate free as well so what you're paying is just this 35.40 cents a year 
and it's very good for you to get started when you make sales uh -huh, at least after one year you can upgrade uh, you will be able to renew the account so in this video i'm not going to use this domain there's a specific domain that i want to use for this tutorial so we'll go over and register this domain okay the domain is nosh uh, nosh nosh what's nosh cell nosh cell dot com is the name that i want to use i will go over and click station all right all right so congratulations that's available so what next i'll go ahead and process to the checkout add the name to the checkout all right so i'm just going to fill over my uh, payment details over here so i'll put my uh the name of my card just a normal uh, payment process when you want to buy online so i'll fill over my details and resume the video okay so I just have to complete this i'm not a robot capture so i just kill in the what i have on the image and that's verified i will click on add card that's the first thing you have to add your card first i'll make sure i'm still on the 35.40 cents okay so add the card and uh, that's successful so after adding the card i can now process come over um come over to this section that I have account set up, right? So I have to give it an email that I will use to log in this account. So I have to type in my email address. So make sure your email address is correct because that's all you use to log in this account. And make sure uh, my, my name, uh, uh, my let my first name and my last name is correct. My email is correct. You can also set up by um, yeah, Google Mail as well. Okay, so I just have to update my name, my first name, Victoria, and uh, my last name. That was automatically filled <laughs> by my browser. So I have to make sure it's correct and put in my phone number. Right, then uh, you can uncheck this sign up for something, something, personal tips. Or I'll, I'll let me just leave it that way. And very important, make sure email is correct without that you can log in once you make a payment so all right i'm good with my details i just have to uh, scroll down to the bottom section and click uh, i'll click on submit order i uh, hope this is going to oh sorry that's fail the payment it wasn't it didn't go through that's fail it, it happens like this most of the time because of my country so i'm going to pay with paypal okay so I just have to choose uh, a pay with PayPal. Sometimes credit card can decline like this, but you can pay with PayPal as well. I think I have some funds over there. So I'll just log into my PayPal account. And uh, uh, very sure PayPal will go through. It doesn't disappoint. <laughs> so let me just uh, proceed to my accounts or confirm the login on my PayPal app. Okay, so okay, good, good, confirmed. So, uh, PayPal. So I just have to choose the method. I have my cut linked already on PayPal, so I will just choose and agree and continue. So right now, I've link, I've connected my PayPal into a DreamHost. It has connected successfully. So. Any email, any billing details on the paper will automatically pull over to this uh, um, section, as you can see. So you just have to choose my country, Nigeria, okay? And uh, make sure my email is still intact, very important. Then the, uh, I think I'm good, I'm good. So I'll click Submit Order. Um, I'm sure this is going to work. Okay, account created, a billing added domain adage uh payments payments oh great payment mates okay so everything is done successfully the next thing is just for me to create a password that i can use to log into the um hosting account right so you give it a perfect password something that you remember okay so i'll create a password and the uh, I'll click remember this so that it can just save for me and continue to uh, control panel. All right, so 
Oh, congratulations to your uh, DreamHost account. So this is how the hosting look like the first time. Oh, you say thanks for signing up. All right, so quickly, I just want you to go over to domain section. And there's something I want to show you very important i want you to activate the domain as soon as possible so once you open this uh, register domain domain section you see this domain verification require so they, ha they have sent an email to the email that you use during the sign up so just i want to log into my email right away and confirm my domain uh, details it happens like this whenever you buy a new domain so click this immediate verification required scroll down to the bottom and you are going to see a big link uh, click on the link and it will take you to this page that you will verify your registrar so once you click on the link it will just verify it automatically so my domain right now notch cell has been verified automatically now if i reload this page uh that notice is going to go off all right as you can see so right now i've gotten my domain and my hosting ready so let me go back uh, quickly. I'll go back to the home page. And uh, so setup has been completely successful. So that sometimes that might take a little bit of time. All right, so the next thing is for me to go over and install WordPress and install the necessary things and, you know, we start to build our store, all right? So, but the first thing is, let me, when, once I go over to this website section, you will notice that this is, this is how you see um, the list of your website, the domains that you have posted, okay? But I want to show you something right away, okay? If you click on this um, manage, this is where you can install and manage the files of your website. But we're not going to manage files for now. I just wanted to show you that. There's another thing that I want to show you. If I open that domain name that we just bought, uh, this is how it looks like. It said uh, noshcell.com is almost ready. So if I click over here, I see it's not secure. Okay. So right now I want to turn on SSL certificate. I want to make sure that the domain is secure. If I hover on this red button, I will click on add SSL. Then it will take me to this SSL page. Click on select this certificate, the free version. You know, that was one of the advantages. Once you pay um buy from Grimhost. You are eligible for that. So SSL has been installed successfully. It's going to take like 30 minutes or one hour for the effect to take place. So I'm going to pause this video and reload once that is done. Now to install WordPress, just click on the domain that you want to install the WordPress. Then scroll down a little bit to this section that you have WordPress installed. Click on install WordPress. Uncheck this. Make sure you uncheck this uh, deluxe install and install WP Builder. We do not need that. All right. We don't need that. So go ahead and install the WordPress. So after clicking the installation button, it's going to take some time for the installation to complete as you can see in the bar right here so i'm going to pause this video and resume it once the installation is complete all right oh congratulations wordpress has been successfully installed now click to login and start editing so right now we're going to log into the wordpress admin and start to edit our online store so once you click on that uh, this wordpress icon is going to lock into the admin account automatically now we just completed the the first um video under the section to set up wordpress install wordpress on hosting we're done with that then the next thing that we have to move on to is this section of video that say the uh, clean up wordpress admin so right now let's go back to the admin and clean up the wordpress admin so back to the admin as you can see, we have a lot of bunch, a bunch of, <laughs> bunch of things that we do not need, you know. So we have to clean up our workstation so we can have a, a nice working environment. Okay. So to do this, go over to this screen section, turn off all these things. We do not need this. So I'm turning off all these things. 
uh, as you can see, the, the dashboard is clean right now. So that's the first thing. That's how you clean up the WordPress admin, at least. Let's look this way so that we can have a good working environment. If you want to do other things, you can go over to your profile right here. Go over to the, the profile and click on edit. You have option to, to change how the color looks, you know. So this basic color you customize your your, your, um, your backend. All right. So I'm just uh, I'm going to leave it to this very dark version. I'll go back to the dashboard. So that's how you clean up your WordPress admin. Now the next thing that I want to do is quickly we need to set up SEO friendly website title. Now, if I hover over here and click on view site, you can see it again, just another WordPress site. So we, this is, this is the whole title that comes with all the WordPress installation, all the WordPress website. So we need to change this and give a unique SEO friendly name. So how can we do that? So how, we need to, um, to do that, we need to go over to the dashboard again go to settings open general now this will change the site title so site title is basically the name of your website the name of your company as well so i'm calling this bookshop then you can use any title this could be um, your company name as well so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use this as bookshop. Then tagline, I'll put the title, I'll put something like this, shop the best book in Nigeria. So basically I'm using my country over here. So it's just uh, a combination of where you can, you can be creative from this. Okay, so I have my title over here. I have my tagline over here. So I'm just going to come over to the, uh, the, uh, the down section and click save changes. Now, once I'm done with that, now let me go back to the dashboard. If I refresh this um, page, immediately the change has reflected. Now we now have a bookshop, shop the best book in Nigeria. So we have a title and a tagline at the tip data. So basically, this is something that search engine would like to um, would like to index on their on their platform, would like to rank, you know. So I'm not going to go more deep on the SEO for now. I don't want this video to be that so long. There will be other tutorials. I will talk about how we can optimize our online stuff for SEO, so how we, we can rank very well in the search engine. So we are done with setting up our SEO title. Uh, the next thing that I want you to do is to set up SEO friendly permalink. So this is basically the link of your site now permalink let me let me just open this all post now let me view this sample post i'm going to open it in a new tab now if you look at the url of this post we have uh, this domain name slash 2022 uh, this basically it has the date before the url so something like this is not a good uh, is not is not a good practice in search engine. Search engine won't really rank this very well. And basically, if you have a product name that is very long, we're going to have a random list of URL. You know, we need to make it short and unique, all right? So to automate this, so that when we when we get to the section that was we are creating products, we just have what we, what we have is. Let's say we have a product that called uh, um this is the bookstore okay now for example we have a product that called uh, best of ronaldo for example the best of ronaldo so we what we have is it's going to be this domain name slash the best of ronaldo we're not going to have this 2022 blah, 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 blah. we do not need that so to fix that we go over to the admin account and navigate to the settings section now you're going to open this permalink, all right? Then, the, then instead of this day and name, 
we just have to change it to post name it's the same thing when we when we get to the section of um, adding a, a product so just leave it at this post name and click this save changes that is what you have to do now we have permalink structure updated now this is what we have this domain name slash hello world okay so right now when we when we upload our product it's going to be our domain name slash the product name so these are the few things that we need to keep in place before we start building the entire WooCommerce online bookstore all right this uh, this tiny thing is something that is going to contribute a lot for our store success now we need to move over to another thing that we need to keep in place then which is updating our wordpress admin password now let me go back to the admin page uh, let's go back to this admin page now basically we have a notice that say you're using auto generated password for your account would you like to change it now if i click yes it's going to take me to my profile in which i can change the password if i'm good with this i click no this notice is going to disappear but you have to change this password so that um it can be easy for you to log in you know you know we while we're having this auto generated password is remember from that our panel that our um, dreamforce account we click that button that wordpress admin button it's automatically logged into this dash dashboard so that that is thing right now before we can be able to access this admin we have to go over and log into our um dreamforce account then use that button and log in back to our admin account and we, which is just so stressful all right so let's change our password so that we can have easy access to our admin account so click over here or i'll come over to the profile click edit profile now scroll down to a section that we have uh set new password right so i'll click on set new password so i'm going to give it uh, a password a strong password so let me just hide it <laughs> and uh, okay let me leave it open right, let me just give a little uh now let me hide it it's a password you have to keep your password private okay so uh let me put something like something strong but make sure after imputing the password you can just click this i button so that you can confirm your password because once you click update profile you must use this password to log in this account again though there's a way that you can reset your password by going over to reset password and but just just keep this password safe so make sure you take note of what you impute over here as a new password right so what i will do next is another thing that i want to take notice this username you cannot change it this username cannot be changed you know so i just have to copy this username let me copy it to my clipboard because i will use this username to log in back to this account so username and password please keep it very safe so I'll go back right now and click update profile all right so profile updated so we now have our new password set no so what i have to do what i will do right now is for me to log out and log in with the new password that i have set so that i will not forget i need to save that password oh yeah so i'll go over and log out to this account and it's going to take me back to the admin account for me to log in again take note you can easily access um the log your, your admin account using this link so it's going to be your domain name slash wp admin uh, there should be a link on the screen somewhere here so you can just grab it you know okay so i'm going to put my username that i copy then put the password the new password that i 
great okay i hope i remember that uh, click remember me so that the puzzle will save click login so all right so login so let me save my password all right so welcome back to your admin account so let me go back to our uh, tutorial guides okay so right now we are done with this section uh that has to do with setting up our wordpress getting our wordpress ready for the main thing the main big thing coming over so we are done if, if, if i'm to go back to what we have set up so far we have installed wordpress on our hosting clean up wordpress admin okay set up some seo friendly title set up seo friendly permalink that's the link update our admin password and login back okay so right now we are going to move over to the next section of the course all right so welcome back to the section three of our course so far and how to design and develop a bookstore in wordpress using woocommerce plugin all right so section three is all about setting up um a theme and plugin so we're going to set up a new theme that's a new skin okay of our store install all the necessary plugins ordinary things tools that we we'll use to build our store okay so right now the first thing that we want to install we're going to install elementor page builder i will skip the setup of elementor so right now let me go over to um our store dashboard our clean store dashboard is empty by the way let me let me let me show you something if hover if we go over to this store name click view sites our store is empty this is how it is <laughs> it's terrible we understand nothing is there it's empty this is the default page this is how it looks like when you install a brand new wordpress just like this but right now but do not worry we're going to transform this to this all right so let's go over and uh, start the design process install the necessary things and plugins all right let me close this okay the first thing like i said that uh, we want to install is elemental page builder all right so i'll go over to my dashboard go over to plugin click on add new click this search bar and search for Ele elementor elementor all right now we have elementor over here it has over 5 million active installation but for almost like a five star rating 4.6 star rating from 6200 something people it's always uh, fully updated last update was um one day ago so once compatible with our current version of wordpress so everything is good i'll go over and click install now elemental page builder is plugin that we use to design our store visually we drag it drop an element you style it without having to write any single line of code so it's like a drag and drop page builder just like when you're designing with uh, other design software like photoshop or canva photoshop is hard let's use canva for example so that's how simple elemental is by the way i have um, i have a video i have another video on my youtube channel that i explain much more on how like a kind of uh, a little introduction to elemental okay so i think i'll drop a link somewhere in the screen or description of this video so you can go over and um, check the video out later so that just basically what elementor is all about we use to drag element and draw without having to write a single line of code drag and drop page builder so that's why we install elementor now another thing that we will have to do is after installing elementor we we'll have to we'll install astra theme it is going to bring a new style to our website so let me copy this name i'll copy this name or let me not copy i'll type it stop watch 
So let's go back to our store dashboard. Go over to appearance. Go over to themes. We have some uh, building CARICOM themes. Okay, default theme. So I'm just going. I'm just going to um, this add new and click add new. Now it's take me to a section that I can search for a theme. If I search for Astra, it's going to come out. This is the thing that we're going to make use of. Install. Now I will activate it. Okay. So right now, it says thank you for installing Astra. We will take off this other thing because we are not going to make use of it. So I'll click on this and click delete um deleting this as well delete this as well okay so right now the thing that we have left is just the astra so right now what are we supposed to do next we have our elemental page install we have page builder install we have astra theme install we have deleted the old version now we want to install Astra template kits. Okay. Astra template kit. Let's go back to our our dashboard. Now to see this Astra template kit, we click on this. Click on but if you go back to dashboard, come over to appearance. Then hover this to go over to this Astra options. You are going to see um like you're going to see this this banner over here i said do you know asha offer free library okay we know ah guess we didn't know we know so right now let me go over and click install importer okay so it's going to install and activate the necessary things that we can use to in, import our template okay so right now before this is supposed to load, I think this is the box. Okay, so right now let me go back and uh, we want to install starter templates, which is the bookshop. To install our bookshop templates, go back to the dashboard, go over to uh, appearance, over to starter templates. Uh, let us load. This very you are going to see this welcome screen. Basically, just just like uh, introduction to um, uh, um Astra theme and the uh, template. Okay, so I'm just going to click build my site now. Now Astra is going to ask me I should select my page builder. So that was why I installed Elementor first. Okay, so right now they want to know the type page builder drag and drop page builder that they want to build this template on top uh, we have other option but for now elementor is the leading so that's why i'm picking elementor now we have uh, a lot of a template that we can get started with some are premium though some are free but we're going to make use of the free version so right now i'm going to search for book let me just okay okay so i search for book this is the template that i want to make use of okay so right now just click on the the the, the layers of the templates and after clicking on it it asks you to upload a logo a logo okay so i'm just going to upload a logo and import this template so, so right to do that you can drag logo over here or you click to upload it from your computer okay okay so i'm going to click on upload files and choose the logo on my computer i'll pick the logo and click uh, select or open then yeah it has uploaded on my website so i'll click on i'll choose it and click on select all right uh select select Wait, select okay select okay so yeah it has uploaded so right now 
that is the logo and we have a preview of how it's going to look like all right so uh, everything is visually all right so if i click this button i can now see the full site how it will look like oh uh, that's that's good i can enable i can increase the size size of the logo i can increase the width and the height okay i can add just like a custom number over here and okay that's, that's look good i'll click on continue so this next section is where i'm going to choose uh, the color of how the entire design is going to look like so once you choose the color it will give a preview of how it will look like okay so right now because of this site i want to use i'm still going to use something similar to this sample site that we are building so with that being said i'm going to pick this uh, my purple kind of blue i love the color so much <laughs> so it's, it's almost uh it's look like right now with the sample size so that's good the color is good for me then I'll, I'll do the same thing with the fonts i can play around with the font and see the one that actually works fine for me you can go ahead and make 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 make, uh, make your own uh font choice right but this is good for me so I'll continue all right so this next step is uh, the also this is just optional you can go ahead and skip it this is just if you want to receive some emails or marketing tips from them so i don't want to add any of my email over there so i'll leave that empty and i'll make sure that i've i've checked this import customization import widgets uh install plugins import content then i think the last thing share sensible uh data I can uncheck that as not important okay so you can choose to leave it on and uncheck it so yeah it's just for their marketing if you just want to give it maybe they have discount you know maybe they have a provision so it's not important right so for this uh, video i'm just going to uh, submit and build my website okay but very important make sure all these the other ones are well checked okay so let's submit and build our website now once you get to this stage uh this 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 context depends on your network uh or connectivity but just just relax a little bit and um watch them building um allow astra to build your site so uh so just relax maybe grab something and drink oh yeah so you can grab some coffee to spice up your brand or you don't take coffee you don't take caffeine we can grab, um, get something like smoothie or just or <laughs> <laughs> you'll get something something cool with you and relax I'm just going to I'll click view your site. Like what you see? <laughs> Smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell the notification. Hit that like button as well. So right now we have the demo fully installed. If you go back to the sample site, we have something very, very, very similar. As you can see, very, very similar. This is the sample. This is the sample site. It will register the sites. And it is the notional notional site that we're building together. Okay, uh, but there there are some few things that we need to fix together. Some little configuration customization that we're going to do together. So right now, like if you go over to this book page, we have a bunch of things that we don't really need. This okay, so we we'll have to we we'll make it look the same thing like sample side that we are building so i'll clean this as well. all right so right now we have installed our our astra we have installed our template the bookshop template the next thing that i want you to do with me is to go over and configure our work comments the first thing that um, i want you to do is go over to, and hover to this work comments Click on that WooCommerce, click on it, just click on it like this. 
it's going to open a wizard setup okay so right now that shows our address okay you are going to fill in the details of your shop address your physical shop address or you can use your your house address this is basically um the place that you are selling these books from or selling these products from okay so so i fill up the address of this store the location all right so make sure you fill up your own address to make it correct okay then the next thing is uh i'm going to click continue uh build the beta welcome this, this is just like um it's going to help them to make sure that this product is is keep on improving this product so count me in that's fine count me in improve the product for us but it's optional we can skip it so right now it's going to ask which industry do your store upgrade so what's the niche you know so uh we just uh uh we're building a bookstore okay so i'm picking education and learning education and learning and the access uh what type of product will be listed is it physical product downloadable product subscription for this video we're not going to ship this product to the fist we're not going to ship this product right so it's going to be a downloadable product so I'm, I'm checking this so downloadable product because when someone make a payment they have access to download the ebook the book now you want to call it so download and click continue now i ask us how many products do you want to display in this our uh, demo this is our demo that we're trying to build i have eight products over here okay so right now Depending on the numbers of products that you have, I can, you can decide to pick 1,000 plus, but okay, let me just say, I'm going to pick, uh, let me just pick this from 1 to 10, because we're trying to reveal that, uh, the sample site, so 1 to 10, it's fine. Are you currently selling elsewhere? So, if you already have an online store built somewhere, it could be so, uh, Shopify, big commerce, you know, then you can see yes then they will ask you another question which of the platform are you using what that means is let's say if you, if you choose a uh, shopify or big commerce or wix there should be a way out in which you can automatically import your products from the other platform to this very online store that we are building together but for this video i'm going to say no I'm not selling in any other platform then ask you am i setting up a store for a client uh, if let's say if, if you're a freelancer you are designing this uh, you're building this online store for someone you can say yes oh yes uh i'm setting up for someone but if it's your personal uh project personal site say so now i'm going to leave this unchecked and click continue all right now, I said uh, include business features. Right now, they want to recommend some things that will help in and improve your uh, your online store based on the form, based on the details that they have collected so far. Okay, so they want to install some additional plugins, additional features that will help us make our shop much more better. So, but I want to see what exactly they want. To um, set up for me so if you click this drop down button you will see some things that they want to install accept credit card the uh, accept credit card and th this very this if i leave this checked it's going to install a plugin that will help me accept credit card in the store if i want to make a, a transaction this one will help help us set up a tax okay and this one will help us set up uh what is it called uh, set up um jetpack we'll make use of this this is the jetpack that we're going to use to connect our store to mobile app so this is going to be very important for now i'm going to uncheck this and i will uncheck this 
I will uncheck this as well. I don't need all this, but let me leave this jetpack to install. All right, so I'll click continue. Right now, they say installing the following plugin jetpack. So I didn't mean we didn't uncheck this, it's supposed to install all this thing, but I don't want everything to be so busy. I don't want our dashboard to be so busy. So just jetpack is very fine. Now, they say choose a theme. Choose a skin, choose a theme, okay? Choose a design, let's put it that way. Choose your style, okay? So right now, you can pick other designs. Some are premium, some are free. I think this is one of the most popular ones. But I'm just going to leave it to this our Astra that we already installed before. So I'm going to leave it that. Continue with active theme, okay? Now let's see the next thing that we supposed to do. This might take a little bit of time. Just hold on. Very good. Uh, the next thing is they want us to connect this our store to JetSpark accounts or WordPress.com accounts. It is very very important to think of that. So. I think if we go back to if we go back to our course, uh, our guideline, we have configure uh, WooCommerce, creating a Jetpack account, keep login serve. Now this is the step. So automatically, it asks me to connect to my account. This is my old account, okay? But I'm not going to connect to this account, all right? I want to create a new account so that you guys can see not because normally if you don't have any jetpack account already maybe log into your on your device you're not going to see the screen like this is what you will see so let me click switch to a new a different user this is exactly what you are going to see if you don't have any account login so right now it asks me to put my email and continue so you are going to put your jets, your, your new email email that you want to use to set up uh, um, uh, email that you are going to be used to manage this online store. Let me put it that way, okay? So right now I'm still going to leave it at this and click continue. Now it's asking for a password to log in. Why this? Why is asking for this? I've already used this email before, okay? So I'm just I'm just going to log in. But for you. Instead, it's going to show you something like create a password. Just a normal process of when you want to sign up for something online. So you set up your account and keep your password safe because we will definitely need it. We need this when we want to connect this our store to mobile app so that we can receive other manage other uh, issue out refunds, you know, kind of something like that in our mobile app. But um, the app works fine on Android and iPhone. Okay. So instead, I will just go and log in my account. Uh, so right now, uh, connecting Nosh cell. Okay, so you see the domain over here. This is the domain that's about to connect. Okay, so I will click approve. Now let's start, let's wait for the authorization to complete. Okay. Okay, right now, uh, welcome back to the bookshop. Okay, we have our WooCommerce setup. We have our um, Jetpack account create, and I know my login details. So keep your own login details safe as well. Now, next thing you want, next thing I want to do is this is this is how the website looks like right now. Okay so we don't really have much again to do but i want to show you something okay if you go over to a book books you can see we have a demo books already installed like already set up for us a demo contents okay to make our life much more easy that's fine so the next uh, the next this is going to push us to the next section of our video which is editing digital and uh, downloadable products okay so right now i want to show you how you can edit the existing product that 
that I already automatically import for you okay so right now I go back to uh, the admin the admin account I go over to admin account go over to uh, products over to all the products these are the products to check over here these are the products so right now how can I edit this product to do that if you hover to the product title hmm? you're going to see option to edit quick edit trash view duplicate now edit will give you option to edit the entire everything but the text the the, the, the cover picture the tags everything but this quick edit will give you option that you don't need to you don't need to reload the page you just have to run some quick editing okay so in your own time i would like you to play around with this by yourself okay some things that you can edit all right but let me close this let me close that now trash is if you want to delete this product you click on trash it's going to delete this product then view or open you click on view it will take you to this product page so that you can view the products all right now let me go back to the admin account and now i'm going to click on edit all right so this is how the editing page looks like you can remove all the write-up that's the book description write your own anyhow you want it but I'm, I'm still going to leave it that way okay i'm still going to leave it that way so right now you can this is where you you update the book description the book title you can add more title you know add it anywhere you want it okay but the most important thing is when you scroll down to this section hmm, you're going to see simple product mm -hmm. leave it for the simple product don't edit it now make sure you check this downloadable product when you check this downloadable product this is option to edit price let's say it's five dollars okay put it that way all right now it will ask you to add a file downloadable file what that means is when someone make a payment they have access to download this file so this is going to be your pda file it, since it is an ebook pdf file but for this video hmm, i'm just going to add uh, any file just for this um, sample okay so i'll add just uh, I'll click on add file all right they'll tell me to add a, a file name let's say um, i'm going to put this as a file name download i remember the book title now okay so download uh add the book title to make it look more unique all right so the next thing is the file link i'm going to click on this choose file it's not going to open my library my wordpress library where i store all my books items so right now i will just pick let me just pick this as an example and click select okay so right now when someone pay for this product this book they will have access to download this file that i've chosen over here download limits is uh how many times did i um, did i want people to download this this book is it five times after downloading five times it's actually to pay again or is it on limit if you want to leave it unlimited so just remove it over here like this let's be zero so zero is equal to unlimited download expiring date if you want them to, you want this to you see enter the amount of this before the download link will expire okay let's say 30 days that approximately one month put 30 days and save what that means is after 30 days they it, it's going to expire and to ask them to down to pay again before they can get access to download the file that we set over here uh so this is going to be uh, remember in our test products mm -hmm you have been following me up uh, it's, it's unlimited download that was there so i'm going to take this out and leave it as unlimited okay so apart from that these are the important things that we need to do all these things are not really 
that important this this is the just the area that you need to take a look at when you are editing existing products okay so right now you come over to this section it says uh, this is a product description a short product description sorry about that what that means is if you go over to this our uh, bookstore this is the section of uh, a short product description all right this is the section of the main product description let me show you the difference okay this short product description is the content that will appear over there now this main description is the one that is written over here so you go ahead and take your time and compile you know this is like a demo write-up all right so it doesn't have any meaning <laughs> So you take your time and describe what your book is all about and you're good to go okay now if you take a look at the right side in which we have this publish okay i can click here to close some of these things so i can have a clean work experience all right so let me open it back okay so a product category you know what category means now so let's say um, you can add new say something this book is all about okay this is a book okay so i'll call it book i click add so i click add to add it to a book category okay so all right so you can go ahead and be specific of what like kind of the the family of this um of what this product belongs to okay so the category i'm going to leave it as book now product tax you know what tax is all about now sometimes tax is good for ranking is help um search engine understand what um a product is all about so for example let me let me do it as a tag let me copy this book title and uh, paste it here i can put a comma like this let me remove this comma book book of uh, okay and click add you well, see that's how to add the tags uh, it helps for uh, visibility ranking as well okay so open here actual setting i don't do not touch anything over here leave it like this products image this section is important products image is this this picture over here okay so if i want to change this picture if i if i click on the picture it will open my library again I, if i hover, if i go back to this upload files i can select another file inside my computer you know to upload this right if i click on this free image um this people uh, astra team has building integration from pix bay pix bay something like that okay in which you can just come over here and let's say search for book uh book i see some other pictures related to book okay all right so make sure when you want to make use of this make sure you click this save search to avoid some kind of copyright issue copyright strike you know you understand that kind of thing so make sure this is checked now you can pick any book over here and it will pull over it will just download and okay let's say let's do this click on this it has changed automatically as you can see all right so that's basically how you can edit the existing product let me click update yeah 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 okay so if i'm to reload the product page see the price has changed the picture of the book has changed all right so that's how you edit the book um details for the existing one okay so right now another thing is since we know how to edit this 
I want us to create a book from scratch. Okay, so right now, if you go over to all products and click on, let me open a new tab. All right, I want to do something. Click on add new. In essence, that we have a blank, we have a blank page right here. Okay, so right now, what I want to do right now is I want to go over and delete this book, but I'm still going to use these details and recreate this book again from scratch. Let me go back to all the products, all right? All the products, and I want to trash this book. I'm going to click on this trash. If I go back to trash, this is the book, okay? So if I make it delete permanently, I cannot recover this book again. It's gone for life, all right? So right now, I want to recreate that book that we just uh, trashed from scratch, okay? I still have the book link. Right now, if I reload this page, this page is going to go forever, boy. So I just want to copy the same details and create and recreate this um, book from scratch. So I'll copy this book title. Okay, let me copy the title. Copy the title. Give it a title. Copy this as our short description. Uh, copy this as our book short description. Short description was there, okay? Paste it. Now, uh, this is the main book description. Copy that. Paste. Uh, what's next? So the next thing is uh, we're going to give a free, 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 free what? No, not free shipping. We're going to do uh, this thing. We're going to add the product price to the book and the book image. Okay. So like I explained before, make sure you check this. Very important. Downloadable product price for this time. See, I'm going to make this just one dollar because I will be testing this book. When we're done with our video, we'll make live purchase. Uh, I'm just giving this as the one dollar. Remember, you can set the discounts as well. Okay, let's say five dollars is the is the main price of the book. Uh, now, a selling price in a discount price is just one dollar. Okay, so if we're setting up a discount, you can schedule a discount like you pick a calendar you can pick a date like when it gets to this date automatically this discount will be active you know then when it gets to this date automatically it will disappear it will go back to the normal price but i'm not going to schedule anything i'm just going to leave it like an active discount all right so the book is sold at the rate of um five dollars but a discounted price of i'm selling it at just one dollar okay so right now i'm going to add a file a downloadable file so i'll give it a name what people will see when they pay for the book so download it okay now book link i'm going to drop i'm going to upload my file okay but for now i'm just going to pick this as an example okay now let me use this one i have this before okay let me use this okay select this so this is just like a sample file of what people get access to when they pay for the book all right then uh, unlimited download it won't expire I'm, I'm not editing anything over here now the next thing is book category i'll make sure let me choose it under book the tax if i click choose from most used tax it's going to pull up uh the tax that we already used so far on the side, okay. But I can decide to add new tax from scratch and click add, you know. I can just pick from here and add it. You get it right now. The next thing is to choose the book image. Uh -huh. so the book image, I'm still going to pick this, or if I'm to choose another book, uh, let me just use this. All right i'm choosing this now let me use let me do something different let me do something different
okay so uh, product image I'm using this select image all right so we're good to publish this book right now we are good to publish the book so before I hit that publish let me refresh this so that you can see something if I'm to reload this page this page seems the page doesn't exist so has gone for life okay so right now I'm going to add this book again I'm going to publish like a brand new book publish now if I click on this link it will open the book page for me I believe so if I reload this page again it's supposed to come back that's come back all right because I published the same thing okay so right now we have a, a price of five dollars but in, at the discount rate of just one dollar all right so what good what good so that's basically how to edit and add a book from scratch we we'll go back to our course um, guideline uh, we now have I think we have completed the section section three that has to do with setting up the themes and plugin and we have done all this okay all right so welcome back to the section four of this video okay the section four is all about the pro features and designs okay so right now we're going to install uh, Astra Pro we're going to upgrade our theme Astra Astra to the pro version so that we can have some advanced uh, premium features boost ourselves something like uh if you hover here you see this quick view it's a pro feature um if i open the product page if i open the product page if i open the product page as you can see if i scroll down this sticky button it's a it's a pro feature as well you know if i go over to uh, um if I go over, let's say, let me add the product to the cart. Uh, let me view cart. Now these things, this uh, a kind of a step, is a pro feature as well. Let me process, uh, proceed to the checkout. These two, uh, uh, this this two step checkout is a pro feature as well. So there are some there. There are a whole lot of benefit, you know, that we can actually have on the pro version, especially the new version that the Astra just released, you know, 3.9.0 upward. It, it comes with a whole bunch of features. So right now, in our current store, in the store that we will build so far, let me open our site and see what we've got. Okay, so I will just. Uh, let me open the book uh, the book page as you can see over here i'm not seeing any of the any of the um quick view so there are something that is still missing and if i scroll down that sticky button is not working on something like that is something that can help boost ourselves and there are some things that we have missed over here so right now what i'm going to do in this section is i'm going to Show you how you can get Astra Pro so that we can have some premium features, all right? So you can boost ourselves, especially the cart, especially this cart page. Very, very important. This cart page customization and a checkout because this very checkout is looking so boring, you know, it looks so as you can see a lot of bunch of information. There's no way that we can just you know. Make it look more modern and convert for more sales. So right now, let me jump in over to um Astra website and show how you can get the provision. So down the link, I'll drop a link of um that will send it to this page in the description of this video. Uh, although this is optional, by the way, in our current store right now, we can continue to sell. Okay, the only thing that's remaining right here just for us to integrate uh, payment gateway. Uh, in which we're going to treat that very we're going to treat that in this section five integration we're going to um set up a payment gateway you know in which we can get paid in the project and test the projects all over 
but i just want to do a quick video on this section for that has to do with the pro design and the pro features right so optional if you have the first upgrade very good if you don't if you don't want to upgrade to um astra pro you can go ahead and skip the video to the section five of this video all right so right now you want to upgrade to astra, uh, astra pro now follow the link in the video description and click on uh, you can go ahead and read here if you want to read uh, go ahead and click get started Get started is going to send you to the pricing page as we, we as you can see now the pricing page we have a uh, um this this is the one that we're going to pay uh, we're going to buy this one you can use this one for a single site okay go ahead and click on buy now it will send you to their checkout page all right so uh you just need to choose your payment method you can pay with oh make sure you uncheck this it's not really important that's upsell and you can see the price was increased so make sure you uncheck this because this is this is what you're paying for okay and the normal price for this is 59 dollars but at the times of recording this video i have an active discount that will give you at least 10 percent discount when you follow the link so you can instead of getting it for 59 get it for 49 so go ahead and make a purchase you can choose you can pay with your card or um your paypal so i like to pay with paypal it's much more easy for me okay so go ahead and click pay with paypal and or pay with card make the uh, make the payments then it will send you login details for you to access the file and download the file but I've already paid, I've, I already have a pro version of um, Astra. So I'm just going to go over to my dashboard again and upload the pro version of Astra and continue with the video. All right. So I'll go over to a plugin section. Um, click on, supposed to click on add new. Okay. Now I'm going to do upload plugin. Now I will select the file, okay? So I have the file over here, just select it. So that is the pro version that you will download after making the payment. It will grant you access to your Azure account, then you download this and upload over here like this. Hit on the install now and give it a little time for the installation to complete, all right? All right, so installation is successful. Click on activate plugin. It's activated. So once you're done with that, the next thing that you will do is to click on activate this so that when you when you activate this, it's going to give you access. It's going to give you option for you to automatically update the plugin when next they have a new update available. Okay, so when you open your Azure account after making the payment there's a, there's a place that you are going to see your Azure license so come over here and paste the license and click activate once you're done with that process the next step now the next thing that you're going to do is to active activate these features now as you can see this is this these are the features available for Azure Pro the modules okay so right now we have access to the WooCommerce features this is very very important so i want you to activate this and uh, we need this site layout activate this feature activate this one activate this page holder and sticker sticky page okay activate the uh, navigation menu as well we're not creating blocks so no need for this and maybe uh, call and background all right so those are the thing that you need to activate very important wall comments you know our store is powered by wall comments so once you activate this you will have access to the wall comments features all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to go over let me go back to my dashboard okay so right now come over to this appearance over to this customize so what I want to do right now, I want to go through the pro features. I want you to customize um, the WooCommerce, the website, the, the bookstore, okay, with the new pro features that we just activated, okay? So right now, if you just notice, 
this is the preview of the site automatically we have one we have a new design of our this thing, our basket our cards okay looks so good right now that is the style under performance make sure you turn this on it helps a lot turn this on it's going to give you a better performance all right uh welcome is yeah this is the main thing it is why we really pay for this pro version okay so the first thing let's check general what we have in the general general i'm still going to leave it this way but it's basically the layouts i'm very very good with this layout okay very good with this it looks so 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 professional uh you can just go ahead and change it and see the one that looks good for you now product catalog product catalog is how we display products all right okay so now let it load this is the current product catalog that we have let me close this we have a uh, option you see this uh, you, we, you can fi uh, filter products by price by dragging it like this you know so you can as well search for this is as a drag key this is a, this is the product under that very price okay so let me leave it to be on so the pro all the product can display so they are very good we can search for a products over here though we can as well search for products in this area okay so this is how the product catalog look like this is how our shop page is going to look like but to have the same design concept of the sample side that we are building uh, to make this look more clean and more you know it look more it looks more clean to me you know so let's achieve something like this as well so just i'll go over here and i'll leave it this way. i'll leave this very container this way now um the sidebar i don't want any sidebars this is the sidebar this one that we have over here is the sidebar so i will put it as no sidebar so that i can have more space to display my product so i'm turning this off and making it to have a uh, you no know, sidebar as you can see the sidebar has removed so the next thing that i want to do is uh the product design i'm good with the product design that's the one two three okay so products per page uh will i need one two three four five six uh let me uh product per page I, so let me have i need it let me display its product per page so that's the number of product that's going to display on this page okay so uh, another thing is uh shop archive content width like the size of uh between this to this okay so i can adjust this size and increase the, la the, the layout okay now if i go over here as you can see it push as you can see here so i'll just i'm going to leave it on the default setting okay now shop display condition now let's see what we can display over here show products okay so we're going to leave this like this if i'm to change it to show categories and products this is what we're going to get okay so we'll have this uh, we'll have this option to display our product categories and at the products as well but it doesn't really look good so i will leave it as show products okay then um, another thing is now let's design let's customize the content that we have over here we have a category display this is the category as you can see so i don't want to display category it's not that important to me so i'll click this i button turn it off the disable it hide it so the next thing that i have is i now have a title title is good price is important uh what am i supposed to have like add to cart add to cart is important so just turn that on so you can have a button at the card button that's increased conversion all right so we have uh, 
done with that toe bar structure toe bar structure is this very section the, this content is, dis, is displaying over here result counts this is a result count that's important i will leave it and the sorting sorting is uh, it is the sorting okay so i'm going to allow the sorting to be like that all right the next thing that i want to activate is if you look at our sample shop we have this easy view in which users can change the layout of how they want the products to look like the product page to look like so let me activate that right here okay so once i'm done with that uh we now have it over here now if i if i click on this it has a bunch of text description over here and i want it to look clean so just click this drop down and turn off description it's going to look clean right now just like our sample site if i go over and click it again it looks so clean all right so um another thing is this is the page our shop structure option did this very section okay so right now i don't want to display this title i need space to display my product instead so i've this deactivate the title i would deactivate this, this bread uh, the breadcrumb i'm going to deactivate the breadcrumb as well now enable sticky sidebar we have nothing to do with this because we have disabled our sidebar all right so uh, i think we're good oh now okay let's check our old store um the store that we're trying to build if, if you click on if you hover to the store we have option to do a quick view once you click on that it automatically pop up and give you a, a quick ins insights of the product so to have this same feature this is where we can uh, enable it quick view so how do we want to achieve this quick view we want it on a product image okay so you can change how you want it but but as the thing is on the product image if someone hover it here it will have an option to click on a quick view all right so what next what next stick add to cut button if i click here it's going to pull it's going to add add to cut button in a quick view i think that would be feasible that, that is going to be feasible when we set up our payment gateway there will be a button right here okay so let's let, let's leave that on now very good page pagination this one this one is a uh, is important future all right but people uh it's important future what this means is if i leave it on this number it's going to Okay, now we have eight product display. All right, good. If I leave it on this number, it will show. It is going to show that we have. A, let's say we have finished up this page. There will be an option here to click next to the other page. I'm not. You can't see this option because I have just a few products in the store. But if we change it to this infinite scroll, this one is the one that most of top e-commerce a company use like amazon uh, jumia for africa uh aliexpress alibaba all the top e-commerce they use this method this is the method that when you keep on scrolling on the product page the product will not finish it keep on displaying when you scroll it to display keep on reloading just like if i have another example if you are watching youtube video you know you can never see the the bottom line of youtube that landing page you keep on scrolling another content is popping up so this is this technology this is the kind of uh, a system that they use this infinite scroll so i love that so much just in case when we have enough products people will keep on scrolling and they will see more products popping up okay so i asked us a question over here this is event trigger on infinite loading how do you want this thing to load is it do you want do you want like a little button in the bottom that will click people, that people should click but before the page will load or that that's if you put it on the click or do you want to leave it on the scroll so i'm leaving this on the scroll so once you scroll on the page the new fresh content keep on 
reloading all right so that's what we have on the product uh, catalog as kind of our display cabinet our showcase oh, yes <laughs> so right now let's shake our single products single product is the main product page so i'm just going to open any products over here and see what we've got okay so uh, this is how our single product page look like so let's tweak around and play around and see uh, how we can turn things around okay so first thing that i want to do is i still want to leave it leave this store um the layouts in the default setting it looks so good for me all right so but if i come down there are some other features that i can play around with like this image size i can reduce the size of this image as you can see but i will leave that in a on the same 50 50. all right so just come over here and play around with this it is the single product structure this very section all these things are being structured okay so category i don't really like to display category that much okay because this store is not big just a small store so i've turned off the category uh i will have title uh, i have title rating price short description if i if i click here, it's going to turn off just like that if i want to hide it okay but uh, as you can see that's out so but i will turn that on all right add to cart to that button i'll click on this and enable this real-time add card in which someone can just change every like someone can increase the quantity of right here and when once the person click on add card it will automatically add to card and refresh the page you know all right so i'll leave it that way so our to card meta information is this very one that that is it below the add card if i turn that off that has to do with the tax you know all those things but if you want to have a clean page you can just turn that off but i think that sometimes that is very important so i'll leave that on i will leave it on now payments oh very important if you click on payments hmm, to give you option yeah it will give you option to display this uh guarantee self checkout like payment uh payment uh logos like the kind of payment that we accept on the side something like this kind of boost uh, confidence from uh in our, our customers you know so i would just uh, this is how this is how the payments look like if you want to style it if you turn let's say i i click on this gray color to change the color to like a black and white something like that as you can see but i want to display the original color of the checkout you know that boosts more sales okay so you can change the the text over here that's the text you can write anything that let's say we accept the following payment or whatever thing you want to write now these icons you can decide to enable let's say if you are not accepting this payment method you can decide to turn that off turn it off then oh, paypal paypal is important of oh, pay by the way we're going to be accepting payment via paypal so i just enable paypal and apple pay then well good i see look at that looks so good now extra if you turn on extra that is where we're going to have that kind of those check box and hey, these things let me let me show you on the demo side that we're building let's follow along like that these things this is where the where the extra comes in all right so as you can see we almost make it look the same way that our demo site was okay so now if you come over to the extra uh, the extra section click the drop down as well we have option to where is it hold on okay look at it here we have option to delete something from here okay take something off or you can add more you click here you can duplicate it you can add more things once you do like that now the next thing is if you click on this uh, the main this uh, the main text you give it to give you option for you to update the text 
and you can change the icon as well so let me just leave this as it is right now uh, product structure this breadcrumb i don't like this thing but you can leave it if you want to the purpose of this is someone can click here and just it will just take them back to let's say if i click on this home it will take me back to the home page so it's a kind of helping people to navigate around the page but to me i don't really like that thing so i will turn it off i will turn it off then enable free shipping text or enable additional text this is the text yeah. but since we're not shipping this product it's a digital product so it's not important for us so i'm going to turn this off okay another thing the most valuable feature, the most valuable uh, feature so far in this product page is this sticky products summary. That's one. There's another one down somewhere in which uh, that's going to be sticky out of card. Sticky production summary. Okay. So we'll turn that on. And uh, our shop is, is getting much more bigger. You see this uh, a product navigation. You click that and Let's say I turn this on. Uh, let me put it on the circle. And uh, you see it's going to give us a bit of a navigation button somewhere here in which we can, very good. We can just use this button to move to another product page without having to go back to the main store. So that's actually, it looks good, it's look good. It's helping to navigate back to another product. But for me to make it look much more sleek, I prefer to use this outline. So this is going to give uh, give me a kind of a minimalistic design, okay? So I will leave it at this outline, okay? Then uh, the next thing is enable products preview. If I turn this button on, once someone hover on the product button, it's going to give you kind of a hint, a preview of what, look at that, looks so good. All right, so I'll leave that on. And uh, what am I supposed to do next? Uh, uh, then let me check for another, look at all these features, there are a whole lot of things that you can customize over here. If I'm to go, <laughs> if I'm to go over like a step by step of all the things that we have for both the pro and the, the free version this video is going to be so 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 long so on your own time you can use your own time to just play around with all this like this is the related product if you want to turn it off you can turn it off but i'm i'll turn it on so you play around with this turn on some things turn it on turn it on back turn off turn it on so that you can just see understand how things has been done all right so uh display product related product turn it on back turn it on back uh -huh. before we leave our single product page look at the um sticky at card button here it is very very important very very important this is guaranteed to increase your sales okay but remember it's on the provision so all right so once i click that it's there's an article button pushed to the top of the page, but I always love it to be at the bottom. So change it to the bottom page like this. Once someone scroll on the page, they have option to easily add the product, add the product to cart. So those are the few things that uh, I just want to talk about in a single product. Another thing that I will do is to check on the cart page. Okay, so let's go back to another important page that we need to touch okay that's the card page now let me open the card page and uh, i will just uh, i'll go over to the card page so that we can see the customization in the real time okay so let me open the card page and see what we've got okay so right now the card page we have option to it say enable modern card layouts Click this and see what will happen. It's going to shift, it's going to change the style, the layout of the design of the card. It now shift this total, like it shift this total and process the checkout page to uh, a right side instead of pushing it down to the bottom. So it now gives us a space for us to like if you have more product coming in, 
you just line them up over here in which we have option to like easily check out to process to a checkout so now there's another option over here stick card total if you click this it's going to stick um the cards like this is going to be um this this is going to be uh you're going to see this when you have a lot of products piled up you know so instead of you like keep on scrolling this very section is going to stick at the like kind of in the side but it's going to stick like this so people can easily process to a checkout so something like this helps boost sales real-time quantity of data found this on and what that means is users can easily increase their quantity over here and once you click that plus button automatically it's changed it's updates and you see that slick uh, loading icon is part of the new features of astro pro okay. that, that that's kind of a technology that's being used in the modern side okay so uh look at this change button text if you want to change the text proceed to check out let's say you want to do something like continue to check out or move to check out anyhow you want to put it but i will leave it at the how it was before so i will control z that control z that okay uh next thing is uh okay we're good with this then let's go back to uh checkout page the main checkout page so i will navigate back to the checkout page and see what we've got so if we are to check our our old site the site that we're taking the inspiration from let's check how the checkout look like remember we have this two-step checkout okay two-step checkout all right so let's do that customization the the site layout i'm still good with that that is the the shape of the size the site okay so i'm good with that so i'm just i'm just going to change this to modern checkout once i click on the modern checkout these are the pro features you know once i click on the modern checkout checkout is going to change the design automatically all right so this is how it's look like for now then i would change this thing to uh, now if you change this to one column hmm? One column is going to slap everything like in one row, but it looks so, so busy. <laughs> so let's try to call him and try it something. This is the button text that shows uh, like pay now place or that you can, you have access to changes like pay now or something like that. Okay. Pay now, pay now something like that or make payment you can use any any text that you want to use okay so right now let's see let's enable something over here on this button you see this button you click on this enable padlock to give us that kind of a security vibes you understand kind of security is it that pal padlock shows that i check out this thing i check out page is secure so enable button price if you click on this to automatically pull back the price of what we have on the card in this very checkout button as you can see it's going to display right here another thing is uh, look at this uh, display products image in this our products overview we can display a little picture image product image okay in the card so that people can be sure of what they are buying all right so look at that fine product image on it enable modern order review turn this on we are going to see this in real life in real uh real world when we test our order when someone plays an order receives the order so they have uh astra pro has done some work they have designed they have redesigned how the experience was like before so modern order review enable sticky um enable sticky order review if I'm to turn this on, this is going to be much more effective if we are using two columns. All right. So right now, I don't like this. I don't like how this checkout look like. I need that two setup, that two 
uh, checkout experience you know so i'm going to if i'm going to just scroll down to this checkout option and enable two-step checkouts turn that on and uh, look at that okay so we now have a two-step checkout all right so uh, let's let's come over here and follow up the setup step by step okay uh, now the next thing is shipping address well I don't want to call this shipping because we're not shipping this product so basically you have option to change the right top over here so I will just uh, I'm going to change this to billing instead of shipping so they say the shipping so i'm changing this to billing instead billings all right or billing and i want to put it <laughs> billing okay so where to uh where ship it to uh, let me remove this right up it's not important let's eliminate some things all right so uh Another tab over here, we have payment of your order. So just payment is enough for me. So I'm taking this out. Then this text for special offer, click here. This is the text of the button. So instead, I'm going to change this to proceed. Proceed to payment okay then let me remove this but if you want to leave it there you can leave it and add any other text you want to add other notes i don't need any other notes so i'm taking this off let's make our checkout page clean uh coupon code if you're planning to offer a discount coupon code people can just easily put the discount like a voucher and they have it discount apply you can leave this powered on but i don't want to leave it on for now so i can turn this off now our checkout page is getting better all right look at this it said distraction free checkout this is the a section that would disable this all this look uh, logo uh, options menu disable all these things just um the, the pro just just the company logo that will be feasible the menu item and this other thing will be disabled so that it won't distract our customer because the goal is for them to make payment all right so i'm going to turn on this distraction free checkout to have a very clean sleek checkout experience look at that looks so clean all right okay so another thing that this is important is persistent checkout form data What's the meaning of this? What this means is, if you turn on this, even if users automatically reload this page, the information that they already feel will still be available. You understand? You know, there you get this annoy. There is this annoying something that you're trying to um, make a payment, maybe fill a form. You mistakenly reload the page, and all everything that you already feel has gone. You can like you. You can just feel like maybe i'll buy it the next time <laughs> so we want to turn this on so that whenever information that someone queue in over here it has come to stay okay so i've turned that on and uh, look at this company name i can hide some things over here some things some data that's not important company name i will hide that second address i'm gonna Keep that for hidden. Uh, phone number hidden. I don't need the phone number. Now this uh, this option highlight require field with an asterisk. So is this red? You see this red uh, highlight? It shows that you must kill in data here. If you're not going to put in something here, you can't pass the payment section. So something that they are compulsory, you can just use this to show to make sure that people um, know that this is not optional you must input your data but if you don't like giving those things you, you can just uncheck it and that mark is going to go off 
uh, C card C. But let me turn that on. It helps sometimes. Now, um, that's basically what we have on the billing section. So the next thing is to check this uh, payment section. So let me, I need, I need a few links from data before I can access the payment section. So I'll just uh, use a random data over here and the uh, proceeds to a payment section. So this is how a payment page look like, okay? So we now have an option, we display the products, very nice. Don't worry, when we, when we, uh, when we enable our, this, when we, run the integration of the payment gateway we have a paypal button over here and options for people to pay with the credit card but don't worry we're done with the design concept already once we do the integration everything will be feasible so that people can make payments so kindly stay tuned and watch the video to the end so that you won't miss out when we get to the section that's going to be in section five all right so uh, we're done with that then Another thing is, let's go over to my accounts, account section. If I'm to go back to the page, let me see if I can access account section. All right. Uh, I can access account section. So we're going to add a menu over here, accounts. We go back to our demo site. I added uh, a menu over here, accounts. So we'll add that later so that we can access the account. But for now, let's just enable modern account so that when we add that, everything will look so good. So turn on this modern account layouts. If you enable this, this is what's going to show. Uh, um, let me open an account over here on the sample site. It is, look, look at this avatar. So if you turn on this avatar, it's going to give us this uh, kind of this avatar. Or uh, say say like if you have a profile picture already, you have the face of a person we just show here. So all this thing make it look more 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 modern and sleek. Okay, so this is very one. Enable other uh, great view. or we'll turn this on. What this means is if you click on this other, it look look at this. It looks so beautiful. So this is the new designer we just enable. So automatically we are done with customizing the account page once. We add the menu to the account. You go, you're going to see how good the account page look like right now. Then additional setting that we can throw in for our store. Uh, let's go over to additional setting. Impute field style. These are the tiny things like if you don't pay attention, you might thoroughly notice. Okay. But this very section right now, let me show you something. Let me go back to our checkout page. There's a new design concept that Astra Pro brought to the table, pushed to the table. Okay, so bring to the table. Sorry for the English. <laughs> okay, so there's a new design concept over here. Then the, um, if I'm to change it to modern, at the... You see that it, I hope you can see that new kind of new feeling, kind of new modern design. Let me take it back to the old settings so that you can see. All right. Look at that. There's a difference. Turn in the turn on the modern input field. So any place in our website that it gives option for people to input a field will now have this modern look. All right, so another thing is sales notification. I'll leave this on in the default. Uh, I'll change this style to uh, an outline so that it will give us kind of a slick design. So when we make a sale, it will notify some uh, the audience that we are making sales. This is the section that I changed this quantity plus to minors, all those kind of this thing. Uh, to, to assess this very uh, feature, let me go back to card page. Look at this. This is the this is the section that we can just change over. If you click on match, you see the design is going to change. If you click on vertical, you see we're going to have a new design. I always like this one because. I think it kind of give me these vibes of like it kind of bring more more of the brand color on it so just 
give it to anyone that is suitable for you all right now i, I was actually checking on this enable step notification this is if you click on this uh add to cart there's supposed to be a notification somewhere here that's telling people oh this is where you stop uh you understand so let me enable that so that you can see if i turn that on look at that navigation beautiful so it's, it's kind of guiding people to their destination all right so if i turn on these numbers it will now give people like step one step two step three okay so i can easily go back to crack page now i have one if i process the checkout page i mean they like in, in a second stage then once i make a payment congratulations you're on the final stage which is um other complete so uh we almost got everything set up the same way that the demo site was like okay so another thing is the product image if you want to change the size of the product image you can go ahead and do so like this is the size but i'm see you see you see you see this thing eh? image should be cropped into square shape it, like and this is a square shape so if i'm if i want to change how i want the picture the image the product image to display i can go ahead and do that but i love it when it is in a square shape so i'm going to just leave it that way store notices let's say you have a new discount you want to display a discount you can click on this to enable a store notice and you will see automatically you have this big notice display this looks so miserable <laughs> so now let me click hang it over the top if i click on hang over the top it will now give us nice looking uh notification bar if i'm to do in the bottom it will be sticking at the bottom so if you have an announcement to make you can just make use of this you take take note of this there are some companies that make use of something like this just go over here and compose your announcement and Make sure this is enable and take note you can as well change the color of the right top over here so let's say i leave the right top in a, a white color then the background i can leave it i can change it to, to for it to match my brand need but uh, i don't have any notice right now so this is off now all right so that's basically what we have on the woocommerce pro the pro features of astra for WooCommerce, very, very impressive. Automatically, our store is so, so, so professional right now. Okay, before I forget, let's add something. Let's add something. Uh, on that site identity, set icon. There's one little icon that you see here. Right now, this is blank. So for us to update this, select site icon. So, uh, upload the side icon. So, let me upload the side icon. The side icon is just like a second format of your logo. Okay, so this is going to serve as my side icon. So, I'll just upload that and uh, click select. Okay. Okay, la la. So, that's how the side icon looks like. Automatically, it is updated. So, something like this is important for search engine as well so the next thing that i want you to do uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to just add up, update this our menu item something that is displayed in our menu we can just go over there and remove one of these things and make sure we add our account section all right like i said so before i leave here make sure do not forget please so that all your customization won't be lost click publish so that everything can be updated Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and close the customization bar. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to go over to uh, appearance again and a menu section. Uh, menu section. I want to remove this. I don't want to add this about section. I don't have strength right about, but you can <laughs> you can write it if you want to write. Okay, so. Uh, I want to remove this. Then another thing that I want to change is um, if we go over to our store, 
let me show you something if you go over to this book page you will notice that we still have this old design the new customization that we make hasn't yet applied this was custom this, this was like a kind of a short code display so i want to display something like this this is our a demo stuff i want all our customization that we made pop up so beautiful like this when someone click on books so how can i achieve that okay so i will take this out i will delete this out i will delete block section out as well when i write in block so i now have the home button and the contact button now let me show you something if i click save menu uh let me save the item first uh, menu has been updated go over to the main site reload the site we just have a menu and a contact just this is the only thing that we have left okay now let me go back to the menu and what i want to add is i'll add our I'll add uh our shop page click on shop page click on the what is that accounts yeah my accounts my accounts and shop page adds the menu i think that's the four thing that's the two things that, that is supposed to add our sample show in our sample store we have home books contacts and my accounts so right now we have home so I'm going to move this shop over here. Click on click on the shop. It will open to give me an option for me to rename the title. So I'll change this shop from shop to books. Okay. Close it. Contacts. Okay. Or con you can rename it the same way that I, re I renamed this book. My account. Very good. So I'll go ahead and save the menu again yeah 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 so very good the menu is now up to date so if i'm if i reload this page again it looks so good it looks so good now if i go over to the book look at that so we have almost everything set if i click here look at that all right so uh if i click on my accounts this is the modern account the, the, the this is how our account page look like so so professional right so right now let's check let's go back and check our course guideline and see what we're supposed to do next so we have uh, installed Astra pro we have done all the woocommerce customization okay another thing that i supposed to do right now another thing that we're supposed to do I'll show you how you can customize the home page. A little of how you can customize the home page and the about page before we can now move to the almost the final section of the integration of where we're going to add the payment gateway and connect our contact form for it to work. So right now, let me go back to the store and uh, this is the home page. If I click here, edit the elemental, it's going to open the drag and drop page builder. And give us an option for us to edit this our page all right you can click here and go back to it to take you to the editing section or you can as well come back to all pages mm -hmm. come over to home page and click edit with elementor <laughs> so like i said in the beginning elementor is a drag and drop page builder help you build it it gives you an option for you to just build a website from so visually without having to write a single line of code but i won't be going much deep on how to use elementor in this video if not the video is going to be so 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 long so right now to edit this page you click on this title for example you can change this title to something else that you want the son of the empire something something okay you can just 
come over here and give it change the text you know to something that you want so basically how elementor works is uh let me go back okay how it works is you open the page editor you click on an element it's given an option to edit the element on the left side all right so that's on under the contents now if you go over to style you give you option to change the style the looks as you can see the color has changed i can change the fonts like whenever you click on an element okay now let's say i click on this button okay the first thing you see is the contents i can link the button i can add the button text then the next thing that we have is a style in which you change how the button look like how the elements look like and we also have an advanced section you can do some advanced stuff but i don't want to go much on that so basically that's how it works so what i want you to do is go ahead and take your time click on each of the elements anything that you see when you hover on it you see something click, click in fact anything clickable click it and just play around on yourself that's that's the way that, that's a simple way that you can just get used to elements or if you're new but i'm very sorry if you're already the boss in this space if, if you've already been using elemental sorry about for me sorry about that for me um for wasting your time you understand i just wanted to explain to our new visitors you know our new uh viewers so you've if you already know how to use elemental please you can go ahead and skip this very video okay all right so if you're new let's go ahead and click all the side elements when you click on it you have an option to edit it there will be a crash course on element so i don't want to go much on that but that's just that just an overview of how the elemental is work so right now once you're done clicking on all the side elements click and edit modify the way you want make sure you always click this update for the change to take place okay so that is the and uh, that's a quick overview of how elemental works there will be a full course for that but not in this very video it will be so 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 long so another thing is uh customizing the about and the contact page sorry uh, not about I make a mistake over right here just the contact page i've removed the about so let's say i open this contact page hmm? if i'm to change the write-up and the change all this thing the same process that we do with the element in the home page is the same thing that will happen on the about page in the contact page okay so right now let me click edit with elementor remember you can as well do that in the dashboard the first time we try it in the dashboard so this one let's use this admin account the front end so as you can see if i click on this i have option to change this right up okay i have option to upload text and we have a uh, already built form already positioned from the demo so basically okay email you click over here and change your email social media accounts you click on social media if you see social media link you know you put your social media link all right so play around with this and if you in fact if you have any issue on this drop a comment drop it in the comment section i'm going to read all the comments and try all my possible best to assist you guys you know if you jump into any problem okay so go ahead and play around with this and update it once you're done now the next thing that uh, we want to do is to move to almost the most interesting part which is the integration right now our store is almost ready we have everything set the, the design is beautiful but there's these two important things that is remaining we need to make sure that things are working okay so let's let's check our store again let's check this sort of a view okay so right now this contact page in the next section of our video we'll make sure that when someone come over here and fill on their details click send it's actually delivered to our inbox all right 
the same thing with our checkout page everything is beautiful right now they have a nice checkout card page proceed to checkout uh, okay but we don't have option for people to actually pay so that is what we're going to fix in the almost the uh, second to the last section of the video section five okay so welcome back to the section five of our video of course we're almost done with this tutorial all right so this is the integration section like i have been preaching before so right now the first integration that we want to do is integrate the contact form plugin all right so <clears throat> this is the contact form it's not working if you turn if you send a message right here i'm not sure it's going to deliver so let's configure this contact form and make sure that it's working so if we go over, if we go back to our dashboard and come over to this wp form go over to settings now in the settings section yeah there's uh go over to this email section turn this on this template leave it on this html template it's going to look more professional header image like a kind of a, pre, um, a default uh, header image that will appear like a logo when email has been sent okay so we'll use our projects logo okay background let's leave it that way all right safe chain changes um another thing i think uh, can go ahead and change this text like these are the kind of uh, um write-ups that comes out on each of the action that users perform but we're good we're very very good with the few settings that we just touched next thing is to go over to this all forms so that we can integrate this form now this is a newsletter signed form simple contact form this is a form that display on this contact page all right so let me open the form now when you open the form here eh? Come over to this uh, setup. Sorry, settings, not setup. We have the form name. Let's just leave everything ready. The most important thing is notification. All right. So, what that means is what we'll configure here is who is going to get a notification when someone dropped an email over here. Okay. So, to configure this, send email to send to email address this short code automatically is going to grab email address that we have on our admin page now let me show you something if you go back to this setting general <laughs> there's a this, this is the admin email for example uh, here so if we leave this very setting like this anybody that drop any visitor that come over and drop a field that contact form email will automatically send the contact will automatically forward to this email address but because this email extension it is from gmail as you can see not sell at gmail.com so for a beta delivery email delivery it's always recommend that we use an email that comes with the, the same site that the contact form has been integrated so that means we need an email that will end at this noshcell.com okay so right now i'll go over to my dream host account and create a custom email that will end like that so come over here and create a new email and uh, uh, just give it a name let's say i'll give it contact or hello about let me use hello hello so it's going to be hello at notchcell.com so i'm going to give it the title of title of the oh, oh get access to this very email let's say uh, i'll give it i'll use a project 
Correct. Okay. Since we are building a we are building a shop, um, we are building a bookstore. So we're still going to use the same title of our website, for example. So uh, we we'll just come over here and set my password. Okay, password that I will use to log in. If I turn on this and click save and click create address, it automatically create and give me a password. But let me set this so that I will know pass because I will need this password when I want to integrate this on the website. So I'll go over here and set a new password that I know that I will remember. My password is strong. Okay. All right. So. Click create address. <clears throat> so successfully, uh, we have the email set up. Hello at noshsale.com. Now I will log into um, the email inbox so that we can be testing this thing one after another. But first of all, let me copy this. Uh, email address the new email address that we create for me to access the web mail if you go over to a web mail and uh, I will click on this it will take me to it's going to give me this URL webmail.noshsale.com but uh, for dreamhost uh, another way that I can accept, access the web mail is can access a very secure version of it uh, via this webmail.dreamhost.com. This is the one that I'm going to use to log in. Okay, so right now I'll just uh, I'll paste the email and I will enter the password. The password that I choose during the email creation and click login. So right now the email is uh, is empty, it's empty. So the next thing that I want to do is oh I'm not supposed to close that. We'll still make use of that uh, panel. Let me let me log in back my admin. Admin. That's how to log in your DreamHost admin panel dot It's just login. So. Uh, We'll make use of this. There's something that we're going to do over here. But for now, let's let me go over and complete the configuration. All right. So um, in the form, send send to email address. I'm going to just add the new email address that I've created. Control V. Okay. Email title, the title that we new entry simple form. Let's say I can call this new contact, new contacts from book shop. You can leave, you can give it any title that you want from bookstore or bookshop. That's from the name of the site. Okay. Email is going to send from send from email. Let's make use of this uh, the one that I've created as well. So this field just leave everything like this. Leave everything like this and click on save. Okay. So we are good with that confirmation this is the message that pops up when someone fill the form it say oh thanks for contacting us we will be in touch shortly thanks for contacting me I will get it done and you can just change this right up to whatever thing you like okay so um, this is good for me already you can add more notification as well remember in this email you can as well add a new notification like you can Add a new notification, add a new email that they can be getting this email support as well. So I don't want to spend much time on this. Basically, this is what we need 
to integrate this email normally right now if i go over and fill the form it's supposed to work the email is supposed to work right now but sometimes sometimes it doesn't work that sometimes we do have this issue in contact form someone come over um fill the contact form it doesn't work there's a reason for that okay but i don't want to waste that let me fix that at once so that even if you have this issue you don't have everything is set, is well set up all right so right now go over to the admin accounts and click on this smtp smtp we are going to configure the smtp to solve that email problem that's another section of this video it's a configure the smtp for contact form the reason for this is to help for our email delivery to make sure that when someone submit that form it gets to our inbox all right so right now i'll go ahead and hit that install wp mail smtp installation is complete right now let's set up the smtp okay so open the setup wizard okay let's get started now i want to click on this other smtp order save and continue now let's check this host okay so this is where the conversion uh, the connection comes in so right now i want to connect this smtp straight to my web hosting it gets so that once i want to drop that a few default it's fire back to bypass a uh, php wordpress defaults email sending because that's why we normally have that issue sometimes our email end up dropping in the spam box so i want to wire this email delivery straight to my web hosting automatically so right now let me go back to uh, the web hosting i'm still using dreamhost you know if you have been following me from the beginning you know that i'm using dreamhost of most of my um tutorials okay so right now if i click on manage email open this email setup depending on your own hosting it might be a different setup all right so uh, i'll come over here and uh, there's there's the settings over here they say the incoming setting and outgoing setting so right now let me uh, let me uh, bring this tab together close to me uh okay they say smtp host how can how can we get this smtp host this is the smtp host it's smtp.dreamhost so if you are not using dreamhost or uh, you can uh, and you don't know your smtp address for your hosting go over to the live chat or contact your hosting and ask them what's my smtp um address just ask them how can you set up a custom integration you know using smtp they will give you the guide but for dreamhost just copy it over here and put it like this all right and uh, the next thing is they said we should use uh, for security security setting we should select ssl or tls all right so i'm going to use this tls once i click on this tls it automatically fetch the ports okay the port is showing 465 I go back to my dream host i can see the port is 465 as well all right so everything's looking good now i want to make sure that it is on auto tls now if you come over to um come over to my dream host accounts they say we should select tls slash uh, ssl slash tls so that's why i have to leave it on that's automatically these two things are working okay so right now the next thing is for me to initiate to authentic in, initiate the connection so i'm just going to put my email uh username and password 
okay so what's my email username it's my normal email address the email address that i create which is that hello at noshsale.com so i put that over here and the password is the same password that have using to log in the main web mail the password that i create during the email creation so i'll come over here and input the password sorry seems to make a mistake okay so i'll input the password like that and uh, uh this is this is very good in, whenever if you are building a site if you have been building a site using wordpress you will notice that a whole lot of email that's coming to your inbox is being tied to like it's going to show from wordpress which is not professional okay so right now this plugin can it will automatically force and replace that name to our project's name our brand name so this is going to be your company name so bookshop we're building a bookshop so i leave that bookshop and click force from name all right now email is sending from i'm still using this my the new email that we create okay so as as well this is going to force all the email going out inbox is you know that this email is coming from nosh cell dot com not sell dot com and the name of the project which is the name of our website okay all right so once i'm done with all this configuration i just have to go ahead and save and continue now if everything is being done successfully uh, uh let's let's check let's check anyway let's check okay so right now um let's continue and see if we are good so right now i uh, skip this this is not important is there is the plugin marketing is thing you want to continue to receive some marketing or recommendation or maybe new features from them you can go ahead and give them your email you know i'm doing tutorials so all these things are really important to me so i'll skip this step all right uh the for the approvation there are some other things that you can do like you have an email summary and um i'm not in for this for now so i'll skip this as well now check email configuration this plugin will automatically test do it a bit testing to see if everything has been done successfully if everything is successful it's going to send a test email to our contact you know so right now they say congrats you are you have successfully set up WP SMTP. Okay, so right now, uh, let's go ahead and click Finish Setup. Okay, Finish Setup. If you go over to Email Test, Email Test, and give it, just type in any other email that we have over here, click Send Test. If the email successfully sent, that means our we have successfully configured our SMTP. Anything that has to do with email contact form is going to fly like rocket. You know, understand? Once we click on submit, it will fire to our inbox. Nothing is going to block it again. We're firing. You understand? So right now, let's check our inbox. See, we have something. Okay. So our inbox, we have WP SMTP automatic email test. This was a test that they just want to check if the configuration is successful so if you have done everything successful you're supposed to have a test email like this so right now let's test if our contact form is working it's supposed to work right so I'm, I'm coming over here to let me fill up details uh, test contact form input my message this is just this is just a test of website form okay i think images can be applied as well all right so let me 
go ahead and send this email he said thank you for contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly all right so if you can remember i show you how you can change all these things you know so right now we'll go over and check our inbox and see if the email if the contact form is working fine we'll check that okay so let's go back to the contact form and reload contact form all right okay so i've reloaded the contact form now we have the new email has been successfully delivered so right now we have a new contact from bookshop that's the title that we drop okay if you can still remember so right now look at that you see how clean this email is it has automatically formatted you know this is our logo looks so 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 good very very clean so the name of the person that sent the email over here, his email address, his or her email address, email subjects, and the comments or a message. So this is the one that I just said. So right now our contact form is working 100% fine and it continues to work until we make it stop working. All right. As long as you have done the conversation correctly. So the next thing that I want to do is uh, what I'm supposed to do next. Let's check our our tutorial guide. So we are done with uh, contact form integration and configuration of SMTP. Right now, hey, integration of payment gateway, the most important part. We can't be doing all these things, but we, we are not getting paid. You understand? So right now, let's install and uh, set up uh, make integration of a payment gateway we're going to make use of paypal all right but for this before you get access to this you need to have a paypal account verified so depending on your country you need to go over to paypal.com paypal.com and uh, sign up Okay, go to paypal.com and sign up. I would recommend you to sign up as a business account and click next. Okay, but if you already have a PayPal account, then don't worry, just all you have to do is to log in the accounts, log in the accounts, you know, and uh, we're going to go. So I will log in my PayPal account and keep, but I won't open it. All right. Now that my PayPal is logging in the background, the next thing that I have to do is come over to my back end. Let me close this. We're done with testing, testing of the contact form. So let me go back to the back end and uh, come over to WooCommerce. Go over to settings. Under the settings, go over to payment. Sorry, before I set up this, Sorry, before I set up the payment, let me check something on this general. General setting was, uh, we filled these details during that all comments. If you have been following me quite so well, all this thing was done during the quick, uh, is that set up? Okay. So, but there is something that I want to do over here. Sell to our country. This is the section that let's, um, our store uh, plugin will come as know the country that you are selling to okay now I'm going to leave it as sell to all country if you are selling your products to a specific country you can as well select the country over here okay but I will leave it as sell to all country what I want to do over here is ship to all country you sell now this is ebook it is like a pdf document this is like a digital product downloadable product so we are not shipping so what i wanted to do is dis disable shipping and calculation we're not shipping anything as long as you make a payment you have, have access to download your product so make sure you turn this off okay so right now it's um 
customer location leave this one as it is and uh, enable coupon code i want to disable this because i'm not giving it a coupon for now there's no discount <laughs> if i want to apply this kind i will just do it automatically all right so let me save this change all right so the next thing is let, let's go back to the payments gateway uh the payment gateway um okay i'm not seeing paypal here so i can actually add paypal on the plugin section if you click on other payment you are going to see more and more other payment option that you can use so for for this video what i will do is i will go over to plugin section and click on add new all right i'll say i'll search for paypal paypal i'm just going to get a paypal plugin that's done by the official woocommerce developers themselves so click and install this very one activate now we have activated is almost ready they said we should connect our accounts to paypal so click get started to connect your accounts to paypal so it has, it has brought us back to this payment page. Now, if you click on this payments again, you will see a new button over here, PayPal and card processing. Okay. So right now, let me enable this. Before that will be enabled, we need to connect our PayPal. All right. So how can we do that? All these things need to be on the check. Leave this checked okay this is enough then activate paypal <laughs> all right so right now once the integration is done successfully you will see a whole bunch of code. I'm sorry, I have to blow this very page because it's my life accounts. You understand? So it's going to be a bunch of, it's, it automatically do all the natural configuration for you. Okay. So the only thing that I have to do next is to enable PayPal gateway. Okay. Now I'll come over here and, uh, uh there's something that i want to change yeah you see this section it's a require instant payment turn this on it helps a lot this, this, this is going to eliminate some things that will delay people from making payments so turn this on and uh, landing leave this on like this hide phone source if you want to disable some payment gates we like the one that just I will leave everything like this. System will automatically detect user's location and payment gets with as available and the location will be just be available for them to make a payment. All right. So vouching, this one enable people to save their credit card in the site so that it can be it can easily make a payment like this is very good if you are selling a membership or a subscription. People can have option to save their card, you know. Alright, so um, I'll turn that on. So where and where do we want this um, PayPal button, this checkout button to be feasible? In the checkout page, I want it to be feasible. Now, the PayPal button, what is the title of, um, like, how do you want to call it? So if you click on this, we have a different thing. So I always like this one um, that say pay with PayPal. The pay with PayPal is good for me. Then color, I always like, I think my design is almost like a uh, blue so i'm going to choose blue as my design and the shape is just like this so i'll go ahead and do the same thing with the uh, uh, single product page if i want this um 
this this thing to appear the payment gets you to appear in a single product page so go ahead and do the same setup all right pay with paypal blue uh the same thing on the card page pay with paypal blue uh in the mini cards pay with paypal blue and click save now we are good we are good we are good to go if you go back to the payment page this is enable now if you click on this depending on your country not all the country that you can accept you can process paper card payment a whole lot of countries there are some limitations okay but for top country like us you know uh you can access a paper uh, a paper uh, you can process credit card paper so depending on your country this will be available or some country is not going to be available okay so um so right now i just have to leave that turn on let's see if that works okay but the main thing is make sure that this one is working because this is the one i want to use so right now let's save all the changes and go back to our store and see what we got okay now i'll come over and go back to my store and uh, let me assess the book page uh see that quick view okay quick view is working fine add a product to cart okay or let me open the product All right okay so you can add the product to the card over here you see that uh quick checkout over here if people if you, if you click on this it will just wide wire you up over to a paypal account and you make a payment and paypal will now send the billing details back to um, this admin okay so right now i will just have to add the product to the cart and view cards this is another section that we have paypal button visible so right now we are giving like we make it possible for people to like I just, it will make the payment process accessible you understand but people can also pay over here but let's say let's proceed to a checkout and see how the checkout is now look okay now let's proceed to payment and paypal is loading all right so we now have a, a nice pay with paypal and debit or credit card okay if we switch over to credit card we can easily queue in our credit card over here and it will pay remember i said this very section you can do this, in, in, this integration but pay with credit card direct might not be feasible might not be available depending on your country but this very one will definitely work out and as well even if just this one works for you users can as well pay with credit or debit card on paypal account so there's something that i want to correct over here you see this paypal button the way they design it is shipping is like it's shifting to one side i don't know if it gets <laughs> it's shifting to one side all right so um what I want to do is, I want to make this, I want to make this uh, layout to be feasible, like to make it centralized, to make our store look so good. All right. Now let's go back to customize, appearance, customize. Customize WooCommerce Checkout Yeah, 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 this is it Form with choose custom 
Okay. Let me process over here. Now reduce the size of this weight. Reduce the size, reduce, reduce, reduce. Let's give it, let's use the last one. Okay, so right now this automatically reduce both the size and give us a very nice uh, uh, it gets right so this look more professional for me so let me publish this and close now let's reload our checkout page very good looks so good it's giving us that professional design. So process to payments. All right, so uh, we'll pay with PayPal. Okay, so right now, we are done with the, the integration. Everything is working fine. The next section of this video, I want to integrate our store with mobile app. After the integration of the mobile app, we make a live payment test the ordering and see if everything is working fine so stay tuned and we're making a very good progress so congratulations for like making it to this section you know it's been a, a very long video uh, so we are done with this so uh, we're done with the integration with paypal the next thing is um integration our integrating our store with the mobile app so right now how are we going to do this first of all you go over to um i'll drop a link that will send you direct to um, this thing a mobile app this, this is going to be the link ocommerce.com slash mobile app slash mobile so if you come over to this link if you're on if you're an iphone users you click over here download on app store if you're an android user you click on get it on google play store so for this video, I'm going to make a test of um, Android app. So I just, I, I'm, I'm going to face this site on my mobile phone and download this official WooCommerce mobile app. You can as well go over to App Store or Play Store and search for WooCommerce mobile app or WooCommerce. It's going to come over and you just download. Okay, so I'm an I'm in Google Play Store right now, so I just search for a uh, WooCommerce, enter the search bar, and it, it has a 4.6 star at the time of recording this video. Okay, so I've already downloaded it. So you, if you haven't downloaded, go ahead and download and install it. But for me, I'm just going to open it. Okay, so I will just open the WooCommerce mobile app under. Uh, uh, what I have to do is to enter continue with WordPress.com then the, yeah okay so i have to log in to uh i have to log in into my wordpress accounts my jetpack account if you can still remember the email that i said the login details that i said you keep it very self so i want to make this a bit right now so pull over your email address and uh, the password that you use when creating your jetpack account okay so i'm just going to input my password and uh, after that i will click on continue all right to so log in uh, okay so right now it has pulled up my store the notch cell store and i've approved so i'm done with the integration so once someone plays an order we're good congratulations for making it to the end of this long video if this video helps in any little way Kindly subscribe to the channel and smash the like button so you will be notified when next I drop a video like this. That is for me today. See you tomorrow.